There's the killer dog. Well, he didn't kill nobody, but... But the dog that on it and it went the, off. The dog shot her? Yeah. It's a 911 call so bizarre, even the Enid dispatcher had trouble believing it. She's bleeding pretty bad. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I gotta lay down. Is she gonna have to lay down? 44 year old Tina Springer in the passenger seat with a gunshot wound through her legs, screaming for help. 79 year old Brent Parks behind the wheel on the phone with police. What happened? Well, a, gu a gun went off. She shot herself? No, she didn't do it herself. Who shot but, her? Well, it, it just went off. We had a dog oh. in here and he stepped oh. on the gun. Turns out Molly's paw pulled the trigger. Molly, settle down. Molly, a seven month old Labrador retriever. Police say the dog was spooked and jumped from the back seat onto the center console while they were waiting for a train to pass. Under that console, a loaded 22 caliber pistol. The force setting off the gun and Springer taking a bullet to her left thigh. Oh. Oh, come off of it. Right. You're tougher than that, I know. Damn it. What seemed like an eternity, the two wait for an ambulance. The pain so terrible, the dispatcher then walks Parks through making a makeshift tourniquet, a piece of clothing right off of his body. I'm trying to find something to wrap around her leg. Hey, do you have a clean, dry cloth? I can take my belt off maybe and wrap around the head of it. Okay, do that. Finally, paramedics arrived. Springer rushed to St. Mary's Hospital in Enid. Doctors say she will be there through the weekend. As for Molly, she's back at home, and the family vows to steer clear of trains in the future. <laughs>